Meanwhile, how about this for a sweet incentive? Krispy Kreme is offering a free gla glazed donut to customers who show a valid vaccination card through the end of 2021. Krispy Kreme CEO Michael Tattersfield is here. I love this idea, Michael. Is it, now, this isn't just a one-shot deal. You can go back and back and back and keep getting a free glazed donut, right, if you have that card. You can, right? So, you know, we thought about this. Last year, we did a, a lot of these acts of joy, whether through healthcare folks or seniors in high school or teachers. And this year, we the opportunity came and we thought about it. And as America starts to really get make progress in the pandemic and you start to see scaling of vaccines, we made a decision that said, hey, we can be, we can support the next act of joy which is if you come by, show a vaccine card, get a donut anytime, uh, any day, every day if wow. you choose to. Wow. Uh, <laughs> You can a Krispy Kreme donut. Now, that, so you, just, you know, some people, I, I, I think it's a magnificent idea, and you're to be congratulated, Michael, but, you know, some people do kind of take advantage of this. I mean, are, who pays for it? Is it the mother uh, company, or, or do individual franchisees have to pay for it? Well, mostly in the U.S., we're a company-owned system, so we cover it, um, uh, okay. just like the 30 million donuts we did last year. So think about it. Who thought 2020 we were going to do that? We didn't have it planned. But the generosity of the brand comes through, so we did it. Yeah, well, you were very generous. How did the franchisees weather this pandemic? How are they doing now? Yeah, you know, the U.S. business, um, uh, you know, did uh, very well as a whole, right? And we're a global business. We're in 32 countries. And some countries did better than others, just depending on how the governments uh, reacted to it. But as a whole, the U.S., uh, and it's an omni-channel business. It's much bigger than just uh, donut shops. Uh, did well. And uh, we continue to see that trend in 21. And, of course, it's it's not the kind of business that relies on customers coming in and sitting down. It's it's mostly mostly takeout. So I, I imagine some places probably saw a little pickup, no? They did. Our drive throughs did incredibly well. And as you get it, we're a dozens business. People love sharing Krispy Kremes. They love having it with their family and friends. And, uh, you know, that, that's just something, especially last year, that I could see a lot, not just the American population, but the global population just gravitated to right. having a little break. Yeah, every now well, and, then. and I imagine this is going to help the franchisees even more. Uh, I imagine some people will take advantage of it, but what the heck, you're willing to, to, to eat the expense on this, so to speak, uh, forgive the pun. But congratulations, wonderful work, and again, a real incentive to go out and get the, get the shot. I appreciate you being here, Michael. Thank, thank you very much, and I thank all the Krispy Kremers and all the Absolutely. healthcare workers. Absolutely. As well. You and me both. Thank you very much. Well,